Hey everyone. Hey, uh, when I first started uh, adding solar to the roof of my RV here, I would connect everything using these uh, pre-sized, uh, pre-made interconnecting cables uh, with the right connectors on them. And um, over the years, I've, I've reconfigured my system, I've expanded, and I've ended up with a lot of these cables and at different lengths, and uh, sometimes they end up getting bunched up and zip tied together because I have a lot of maybe a, a couple feet of extra length on a cable and I realized eventually that uh, it was getting kind of messy and maybe I should just uh, create my own custom sized cable so for the last year or so that's what I've been doing I've been uh, building some different boxes and things like that to monitor equipment but I've also been just buying bulk cable like at a 50 foot length and so this uh, length here 10 gauge good quality solar cable runs about $30 on Amazon and I can also pick up you know the MC4 connectors I need and the right tools and I just make my own connections and I wish I would have just been doing this this way the uh, whole time from the beginning it probably would have saved me a lot of uh, money and uh, I would have ended up with a nice cleaner professional install right from the beginning but uh, that's what I do now and uh, I just wanted to show you guys how you can do the same thing and what you'll need to do that Okay, so let's make us some connectors here. Uh, before we do that, I want to give you a little rundown of what we're going to need. Obviously some cable, I talked about that earlier. Just buy a big spool of cable, about 30 bucks for a 50 foot good cable. I also um, pick up the uh, a pack of these um, MC4 connectors. Now the ones that I get, they, uh, they come in a little bag like this and uh, they're like have uh, five pairs of positive and negative connector and uh, they run for about um, nine dollars I think on Amazon so so with these I could make about five cables you know, for one of these little bags so everything you need for the MC4 connector itself now also um, here here's an important part is actually having a good crimper so in order to get a nice professional connector built and that has really good continuity it's gonna have a great connection spend the money twenty dollars or less and get a good crimper so um, so when I got on Amazon I think it runs about nineteen to twenty dollars also uh, let's see the um, these little MC4 connector tools are very handy uh, especially if you're using MC4 connectors you can use two of these and they have different sizes to fit over the connector and you can use them to torque down the uh, the connector plug itself and also uh, release it when it's locked uh, you can just put this on there and it helps unlock the connector so it's easier to take apart so good to have a pair of those on hand they usually come in in pairs and uh, I think that's about it uh, wire splitter um, and wire cutter so let's go ahead and make a connector First, you're going to just need to cut a length of wire. Once I have this, I want to strip the uh, ends of the cable back probably about, I don't know, half an inch or so. The key is really to simply get the cable so that it goes inside this part that's actually going to be crimped. So it's this pump part here, this end piece, that's actually going to go in the crimper and that's going to be crimped. But you can also cut it a little bit longer if you want and it would just get inserted inside this uh, this part of the uh, the conductor. So now once I have my cable cut it's time to crimp on these uh, conductor pieces to the uh, cable. So what I do is I'll take my crimper, expand it, and I'm just going to set the uh, connector in there like that, right like that so it's just sitting there ready to be crimped and then I'll simply slide this so that the uh, end is flush with the, uh, the end of the conductor and just simply squeeze it all the way down, ratchet it until you close the crimper the whole way and you can see that what it did is it's got me, in, I got a really nice solid uh, connection there it took the ends of the uh, tabs and just kind of folded them in to the middle so it gave me a nice solid connection and then I'll do the same with the uh, other end. Okay. 
So now with the conductor part uh, crimped onto the cable, that's really the hard part. <laughs> and you know, the crimper makes it really easy. I'm simply gonna take the, uh, the MC4 uh, housing part of the connector and uh, insert it onto the cable. So the first part of that is to actually remove the, uh, the bottom part that's gonna create that weather tight seal. And I wanna slide that over the cable, the connector part. I have to do that first. <laughs> Don't forget to do that because if you do, once this is locked in place, you won't be able to put it on again. So the next step, if you get line up the right uh, connector, simply going to slide it into there, and you'll hear a you'll know when it locks because it's going to have a it's going to lock it nice and tight, and now it's on there. It's, it's a little tab on that uh, conductor that locks it in place. Now this is where the uh, little tool might come in handy because you can uh, simply just insert it over the end. It's designed to fit over the end and uh, you know you can crank it down. So that's what I usually do. You can use both tools I suppose. Um, sometimes they fit, sometimes they don't. Uh, but a lot of times I'll just use my hand. Just gonna repeat this on the other end. So I'm showing you how to make a cable, how to make your own MC4 connectors. Now I've used this to uh, make cables for all my solar panels. I've also you know, used it to make like this cool little uh, test box. I can just simply put a MC4 connector on it. So when I test solar panels, it's just as easy as you know, hooking it up to this and uh, I'm good to go. So I hope this was uh, helpful for you guys. If you uh, are planning on um, definitely putting together your own solar system, I recommend you just kind of do this up front and just plan out where your panels are going to be and run the exact length of cable that you need and create the connectors you need. Because one of the things that I found is that you might go out and spend some money and buy, say, a 10-foot um, MC4 cable with MC4 connectors on the ends that you're paying for, and then you may end up having to clip one of those ends off because you don't need it and you're going to connect it to a charge controller or something else and now you've spent the money on a on a nice connector on a cable that you've basically cut and you don't need it so just start from the beginning um, buy your own cable it's really easy to make these connectors and uh, that's what I would do if I was doing it over again so let me know in the comments if you guys have other suggestions or if uh, you know you have better ways of doing this and uh, if you've done your own cable connections and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.